Hi friends, happy Friday. Today we are going to be doing a special read aloud because this weekend is Mother's Day. So for Mother's Day we are going to be reading The Night Before Mother's Day and we're making breakfast for mother. And then we're also going to be sharing with you a couple of Mother's Day activities you can do this weekend for your mom. Maybe even making breakfast for mom. I always used to make breakfast for my mom in bed with my siblings and then we'd try to get flowers and do something nice for her on Mother's Day. And we usually go um, to a plant store and get breakfast. So it's gonna be a little different this year for my family and I'm sure it'll be a little different for your family too. But there's still lots of stuff that you guys can do at home for your mom um, just to show her that you love her and you appreciate her. So. This read aloud is going to be all about mothers. <clears throat> and we all know our sign for mom, right? Mom. Mom. Of course, we know dad. We'll do a special Father's Day one in June, but mom. So there's our sign for mom. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. Let's start with the night before Mother's Day. I'm just going to turn around here. The night before Mother's Day. "'Twas the night before Mother's Day when, as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. Then out of the yard there rose quite a crowd Come on, let's go, girl, her friend shouted real loud. This sounds like my mom. So mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen, we flew like a flash, as if we were running in a 100-yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops, way too much splatter. We made fancy cards, adding our I love yous and a special coupon that our mom sure could use. That's a good idea. You guys can make your mom's coupons. When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What I miss, she asked. Nothing, said Dad with a wink. We children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of Mom danced in our heads. The next morning, we presented a giant bouquet. I need flowers. It's for you, Mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day. She read both of our cards and after wiping her eyes said, a private spa session, what a lovely surprise. We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders, we massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled, you kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair then we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. I painted her nails. What a glittery fun. A top coat of polish. Voila! Manicure done. Dad said, the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took seats at the table, behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear, but the perfect model for mother of the year. Her eyes, how they sparkled, her brown hair, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom. And that's not a boast. We love you, Mom. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. 
She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. So you saw some good ideas in there. They gave their mom a coupon for a homemade spa day. That was really cool. I would love that. That sounds like that mom was super happy with her Mother's Day treat from her kids. Okay, book number two. We're making breakfast for mother. What do we think they're going to do in this story? I think they're going to make breakfast for their mom. I'm sure she's going to love it. It says, we're making breakfast for mother. We're making breakfast for mother. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. We're fixing up this shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here are some flowers. We picked her a bunch that decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Ooh, I'm gonna have to remember what all of these pictures mean. Here is the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. That's next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. That decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here is the sugar, lumpy and sweet. That's for the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. That's next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. That decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here's the toast we made whole wheat. It's beside the sugar, lumpy and sweet. That's for the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. Those next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. The decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here is the tea, we brewed her a pot. For dunking the toast, we made whole wheat. It's beside the sugar, lumpy and sweet. That's for the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. That's next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. That decorate the shiny tray, we know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here's a banana with only one spot. We put by the tea, we brewed her a pot. For dunking the toast, we made whole wheat. It's beside the sugar, lumpy and sweet. That's for the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. That's next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. That decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here is the jelly, sticky and bright. That's next to the banana with only one spot. We put it by the tea, we brewed her a pot. For dunking the toast, we made whole wheat. It's beside the sugar, lumpy and sweet. That's for the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. That's next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. That decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Here is some milk, frosty and white, to stand by the jelly, sticky and bright. That's near the banana with only one spot. We put by the tea, we brewed her a pot. For dunking the toast, we made whole wheat. It's beside the sugar, lumpy and sweet. That's for the cereal, the kind that goes crunch. That's next to the flowers, we picked her a bunch. That decorate the shiny tray. We know she'll have a super day since we're making breakfast for mother. Good morning, mother. Happy day. Look at the flowers we've picked for your tray. Here's the milk. It was hard to pour. We brought you cereal. Some spilled on the floor. Here's sugar and tea, it's not very hot, and a banana with only one spot. Here's whole wheat toast, a little too brown, with raspberry jelly, oops, jelly side down. <laughs> you made me breakfast? I'm impressed. Let's share this feast and then get dressed. We'll put on our jackets and go for a hike since I don't want to see what the kitchen looks like. It's fun making breakfast for mother. What do you guys think of our Mother's Day books?
So Mother's Day is this Sunday, so you guys have time to do something for your mom. You can even teach her the sign for mom. Mother, mom. All right, guys, we will have some Mother's Day activities coming to you. We have our weekend challenge again. Hey, it's Mrs. Sherry. So we are gonna make some flowers out of toilet paper rolls. So you're gonna take your toilet paper roll and you're gonna cut down, you can get your parents to help if you need, some small little strips all the way down. So just little strips down. And you're gonna keep cutting all the way around. And then you're gonna take another one and you're gonna cut out some shapes. You're gonna cut out like V's out of this one. And then you'll fold these down and these are gonna be your leaves. So I've already cut two out here. And then you're gonna take some paint and dip it in the paint then you're gonna put it on your paper you may need to push down on them a little bit make sure you get the paint all around the edges There's one of my flowers. I'm going to take my other one and dip it in the paint. Put it on my paper. And I'm going to take a sponge brush and put a little yellow in the middle. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and make the stem. There's my flowers. This is one that I had done ahead of time. Have fun making some flowers. See you soon.